Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video and in a couple of videos coming up next, we will be designing a complete home page using Elementor. So this is the home page that we are going to be designing in this tutorial series. And here we can see in the hero section we have a video as the background and then we have some headings and some text over here. And then if you scroll down we can see we have a section for our services and there are different cards over here. When we hover over this we can see we have some drop shadow over here and even on the icons we have some animation when we hover over them and then we have this uh, section of completed projects and uh, we have this counter over here and uh, they are for websites designed and apps developed and then if you scroll down we can see some testimonials over here and at last we have a footer here we have the logo here we have some links for important pages and then we have the social media links Alright, so this is what we are going to design in this video series. Alright, so let's get started. This is the fresh installation of WordPress and the only thing I have done is gone to settings and uh, general and uh, I have changed the site title and the tagline. Alright, so the first thing we will do is uh, we will uh, install the plugin Elementor so go to plugins and click on add new and search for Elementor and uh, install this plugin called Elementor page builder it will take some time depending on your internet connection and then we'll activate the plugin so the plugin has been activated and here we can see a new menu over here for Elementor now the next thing we will do is install a theme so right now we have this default theme of WordPress so if you go to visit site this is the theme that we have active right now on our website now we will install a theme that works well with Elementor now Elementor works with almost all the themes but installing a good theme that works well with Elementor will help your design even better because the styling of the themes also affect the Elementor design so let's go to appearance and go to theme and we'll click on add new and we'll search for a theme called Ocean WP. This is an awesome theme for Elementor, so let's go ahead and install it and activate it. Alright, so our theme has been installed. Let's visit our site. Alright, so this is how our web page looks right now, but uh, we'll be changing everything over here and we'll be creating our own design. So the first thing we have to do is create a new page. So go to pages and click on add new. Let's give it a title of home. And we'll just leave this uh, content area blank and we'll publish our page. Now our page has been published. Let's view our page. So this is how our page looks. Now what we want is that this page should be shown at the home of our website. So if you type your website name over here, then uh, this home page should be displayed over here. But right now it is displayed under your website name slash home. So for that we have to go to settings and then click on reading and by default your home page displays are set to your latest posts now you have to change it to a static page and you have to select a home page from here so let's select the page that we just created and then just click on save changes all right now if we go to visit our website we can see that the home page is displayed over here all right now we have this page set up as the home page let's go ahead and design it using elementor so go to pages and uh, click on home and then you have to make a change over here that is go to template and select the template as Elementor canvas and update the page now just click on edit with Elementor now we have this blank canvas over here and we can start designing our home page now in Elementor we have sections and in sections we have columns so this is how we structure our design in Elementor so if you look at our home page we can see that this can be considered as a section where this logo can be in a column and uh, these icons can be in another column so in short we need to have a section with two columns so let's go over here and click on this plus icon and select this structure over here which has two columns and in the first column we will have the logo and in the second column we will have the icons but before that let's go ahead and choose the fonts for our design so click on this icon over here and go to default fonts 
and here we have different elements and we can select fonts for each of these so here in primary headline we have the font set as roboto and weight of 700 we will leave the font as roboto but we will change the weight to 800 and then in the secondary headline we have the font set as roboto slab so we'll change it to roboto and in body text we have the font as roboto slab we'll change this to roboto as well and here we have roboto so our fonts are set so let's click on apply now click on this icon to view all the widgets now first of all we have a logo on the left side so the logo is basically a heading so we'll just drag and drop this heading over here and uh, we will change the text to lb dot and for the logo we want to have a different font so we can change the font over here as well so go to style and then click on typography and change the font from here so we'll change the font to poppins and we'll change the weight to 900 and we'll increase the size Right, so now we want to change the text color to white or a light color so we'll just select this color over here just select a lighter color all right now on the right side we need to have the icons so we'll go to the widgets and we'll scroll down and we can see we have a widget called social icons so just drag it over here and uh, set the alignment to right and here you can go ahead and make some changes over here so you can change the color you can change the icon and then you can add your link over here and if you want to add more icons over here just click on add item all right now let's go to style and make some changes we'll change the size to 18 and we'll even give it some padding and then we'll increase the spacing now what we'll do is we'll select this section and uh, then go to advanced and add a z index of 100 so now it will make sure that this section will always be on the top now let's do one more thing let's go to uh, this column we'll just select this column so to select the column you have to click on this edit column button or if you click inside here uh, it will edit the social icons so to edit the column go to this uh, icon over here and then go to vertical align and set it to middle now our icons are centered vertically all right now the next thing we need to do is add this background video so we'll go to pixabay and download a video from there so just set this to videos and search for your term over here so this is the video that i had used so let's download it just click on free download and select your resolution and click on download now we have to add this to our elementor design so for that we need to have the link of our video so first of all we need to upload it to wordpress so we have to go to the dashboard of our wordpress website and uh, then go to media and click on add new and just drag and drop this file over here right so our file has been added now just click on edit and uh, copy this url from here and we'll use that in our elementor design so let's go back to elementor and go to the widgets so first of all we have to add a section so click on add section and uh, for this we need to have just a single column so just select this single column structure over here and we'll set the height of this section to fit to screen and then we'll go over here to style and then go to background and select a video from here so we'll paste the link of our video over here and here we can see right away the video starts playing we can also set a background fallback so if the video doesn't load for some reason this image will load and then we'll set a background overlay so just click on background overlay and uh, select a color so we'll select a dark blue color and then we'll increase the opacity right so this looks fine now in our original design we have this background video touching the top of our page so for that we have to change the margin of our section so just select this section over here and go to advanced and here we can change the margin of our elements so first of all click on this button over here to unlink the values 
So we can change individual values over here. So set this value to some negative number. So if we decrease the value, we can see our section moves up. So we'll just set this value to around 67. All right, so that's it with the margin. Now let's go ahead and add uh, the headings and this button. So it is really simple. Just go to widgets and uh, drag this heading over here. We'll just change the text to live blogger. And then we'll add some text. So just drag and drop this text editor over here. We'll just copy this text. And lastly, we need to have a button. So just go to widgets and drag and drop this button. All right, so now let's go ahead and edit this column. So click on edit column and then go to advanced and we have to change the padding over here. So just unlink this and uh, we'll change the padding of the left and uh, we'll set it to say 200. I'll just set it to 400. Now we'll go ahead and select the font sizes. So just select this heading and uh, then go to style. And first of all, we'll change the text color. So go ahead and select a light color from here. And then we'll go to typography and uh, we'll increase the size. And we'll also change the transform to uppercase. All right, so that's it with our heading. Now let's just remove some margin from uh, the heading. So go to advanced and unlink this and uh, then add some negative margin over here. And then for our text editor, we will add some negative margin over here. All right, so now let's select the button and we'll change the text to learn more. And we'll change the size from small to medium. And then we'll go to style and change the text color. We'll set it to some dark color. I think we need to add a little bit of negative margin to the text editor. Right, so I think that looks fine. So that's basically it with the hero section of our homepage. Now let's click on update and then click on this button to preview your changes. So this is how our page looks right now. So that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will design the next sections of our homepage. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. Subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.